All right, welcome to SBC Radio. I'm Eli Karp, here with Ben Gansenberg and Daniel Marr. Lots of things to cover today, and we are going to start with the MLB trade deadline. Coming up in a week, Ben, what are you seeing? You know, there are a lot of big names out there, Chris Sale being the biggest. Honestly, there's not a realistic trade that Sale is going to be moved. Most teams aren't willing to give up the package that Kenny Williams uh, wants for Sale. He's looking at like four top prospects from an MLB team, and it's just not realistic for a team to give up that much. There are a few teams in the MLB that I think could pull the deal off, one being the Red Sox. If they were willing to give up Moncada, Benintendi, guys like that, I think they could get it done. Maybe a deal including Jan Moncada, the second baseman prospect, Eduardo Rodriguez, the pitcher, Blake Swihart, the catcher, and, and another guy, a uh, depth guy, that that might get it done for sale. And if the Sox were able to land sale, I think that would really bolster their team and give them a real shot to win the World Series because David Price is having a shaky and it's just not looking like uh, the Sox would be able to survive a whole series versus a team like the Royals who have just a shutdown bullpen. All right, so that's some trade deadline news and some hockey. The, NF the NHL offseason, quite a busy month so far, Dan. It definitely has been. Uh, um there's been some uh, big moves, uh, the biggest one of course being P.K. Subban being traded for Shea Weber to Nashville and um, Stamkos re-signing which was very huge. They thought he would go to um, somewhere else but he re-signed right before he became an unrestricted free agent. Um, Andrew Ladd signed with the New York Islanders and uh, Taylor Hall uh, was traded to the New Jersey Devils for Adam Larson. Uh, some very big names were moved around this offseason and uh, I think the league will definitely be different this year. Yeah, I think I think the Weber and Subban deal will really change the Western Conference. You know, Subban's going to a, a really good team in the Predators, and he's a young guy. He's going to bring a lot of swagger to that town. He's he's a leader. I think the Predators are, are really going to be good after this trade. All right, so believe it or not, July is the last month without football. Next se next uh, few days, the preseason is going to start. Training camp's underway. What are you seeing in the NFL so far? Uh, what do you see upcoming, Dan? Well, I, I see that Calvin Benjamin is coming back for the Carolina Panthers. They lost to the Super Bowl this year, and uh, uh, they had, a, had to face a very tough defense that, from the Denver Broncos. But they have Calvin Benjamin coming back. They have uh, still have Cam Newton and some other players, uh, Stewart. And I, I also think the uh, Oakland Raiders with Amari Cooper, he's going to really shine this year. He did really well with them last year and uh, with Derek Carr, I think, uh, Calvin Benjamin and Mark Cooper are going to have really good years. Yeah, look for that ACDC connection two years in a row. Uh, I have two guys to look out for this year. I really think uh, Keenan Allen, the wide receiver from the San Diego Chargers, could have a big year this year. You know, he's got a veteran quarterback, Phillip Rivers, throwing him the ball, and I think it's his year to shine. He had a lot of injury problems last year, and being a young guy, very talented, I think he could have a monster year. Another guy who, who could be in for a great year is Eric Ebron, the tight end from the Detroit Lions. You know, after Megatron retiring this year, it looks like Ebron's going to be the number one target with that cannon up in arm, Matthew Stafford throwing to him. Coach Jim Caldwell is definitely going to look to Eric Ebron to step it up and be the rock in that offense. All right, finally, before we go, quick Super Bowl predictions. You know, I think the Pats are going to get there again. I think Bill Belichick's just such a great coach that uh, even though Garoppolo is going to be the starter for the first four games, Brady's going to come back with a fire in his eye, and he's just going to dominate like he did last year. I think with an improved defense, they picked up a few guys on the defensive line. Um, they're going to be better. They'll beat the Broncos. They won't have trouble with the Broncos in the regular season. Then uh, I think they'll face the Cardinals in the in the Super Bowl. Uh, it's very difficult to say. I mean, the Panthers are still a good team, but I'm going to have to go with the Packers. The Packers are getting Jordy Nelson back this year after a full injured season. They still have... Randall Cobb and, uh, of course, Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback. So I just think they have the talent and skill to pull it off this year. I agree with things from both of you. I think the Cardinals will win the Super Bowl this year. They came somewhat close last year, but Carson Palmer couldn't get it done. They're a complete team. This year could be their year. Thanks for tuning in to SBC Radio. I'm Eli Carp with Ben and Dan.